One more thing I noticed with regards to today's game is uh, Kids Chiefs, um, there's a lot of progress that I think the team has made, that I think also Gavin Hunt has made with this team. I think the way they handled the sort of derby was a lot better than how they handled it with the MTN8. I think with the MTN8, they were completely played out. They were outplayed, outplayed. They were completely outplayed. But in today's game, there were chances that they had that they could have put away. You could tell that maybe the squad is missing a little bit of quality, but obviously they can't sign. We already know that. Um, so I can give them credit in terms of they've managed the game a lot better than what they did in the MTN8. But I think what it also highlights is that Kids Chiefs, you still, you still have a lot of progress to make in order to catch up to the likes of Orlando Pirates, the likes of Sundowns, the likes of maybe even Supersport, you could say. So, big ups to them on handling that. As for Orlando Pirates, a lot of quality within that team, tons of quality. I mean, they have the luxury of just bringing on Marco and and Joe was subs in jail. You know, that's how much quality they have. And I think psychologically, this will be a huge boost, but they have to carry this on. They have to carry this on. They can't celebrate winning in this. Order. It's, a, it's a good win, don't get me wrong. It's a good win, bragging rights, it's great, but you gotta carry this thing on because of the quality that Orlando Pirates have, they should be, you should be closer to Mamluk Sanans, no doubt. And with this win, you have actually gotten a little bit closer, but that progress needs to carry on because of the quality that the squad has kids chiefs um progress made but there's still more steps to go